Hi everyone. I don't know if you're like me. I am really busy and on the go constantly. So I'm in my car and I'm going to do my basic hack with um, my colors just in the car to show you how easy it is. I'm going to have one compact. I did cheat and I brought three brushes with me, but honestly, I may just use one or two. So um, this is my very well loved, that's another word for dirty. I have to clean it, palette with Saint. Okay, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. Um, first of all, I am sweating inside my car, so let's just turn that down. I am on the East Coast and we just had snow, so um, my palette might be a little cold, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So you can get a free color match from me, so fill out um, the jot form that I'm gonna leave and I'll give you a free color match. So the colors I use might not be the colors that you use. So it's going to be, I'm gonna show you, I have my contour, I have my highlight color, I have another highlight color, that's my vanilla dusting powder. Um, I am 51 years old, so um, I need certain things, certain products some people use, some people don't use, some people based on the type of skin you have and your age and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And then I brought along um, my rose gold illuminator and this is sandstone lip and cheek. Um, so I actually could do everything in a single palette, but I had my double palette because this is what I use regularly. The brushes I brought is the buff brush, the blush and bronzer brush, and the multitasker. Okay. So I'm gonna start with my buff brush and I am going to go into what we call the foundation color, like sort of what you would have used. Um, and I will list the colors and I'm just gonna put it all over, sort of what you would have used as foundation color. You can put on a whole different bunch of ways. There is no one right way. Okay. Now I'm going to go into, and super easy, but I'm going to go into my contour color. And I'm just, look, I'm just dipping in, okay? And I'm going to find my cheekbone and I'm going to sort of hug it. Okay, I'm going to hug that cheekbone and I'm going to only come down to about there. And it's going to give you, all of a sudden, you're going to have cheekbones where you didn't have them before. Okay. Contour will also go up here. Okay. For my forehead. All right. I'm going to do the sides. You could do everything with your finger, but you could do the side of your nose. Sort of go up a little. You're creating a shadow. That's how everything's look. And I, I really rather talk about how we're going to accentuate the things we like. Everybody always talks about hiding things and making things smaller. And, and then I'm going to define my jaw. I come down a little bit here and I hug that jawline. Just hug that jawline. See how all of a sudden you're creating a shadow. Come down, jawline. Okay. It's hard to tell because I'm actually so far in my seat. I'm going to try to go a little farther back to give more of an idea. I'm like right on top of the camera. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm not even changing, I'm not cleaning my brushes, I'm not doing any of that. I'm gonna go to my brightener. And again, just go to my brightener, okay? And because I'm 51, I'm gonna sort of do here and here, okay? I'm not gonna do a lot under the eye, okay? Just a little brightener here and here, okay? I don't want, um, I, I want us to stop what are we trying to hide and think what are we trying to accentuate? Everybody, my brightener is up here. Everybody's got something they absolutely love. They do. And I don't want to hear it. No, I don't know, whatever. You do. Okay. Do you have really beautiful blue eyes? I love, I have really pretty eyes and the shape of them. They're almond shaped. Okay which much to my chagrin as a child, I got made fun of a lot, but that's how kids work. I'm gonna go again into sandstone and I'm just gonna sort of right above 
my contour, okay? I know it all looks silly. I could use this brush now to blend everything and, and smush everything in and, and or like do it, but I am a fan of the blush and bronzer brush, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna switch over instead. And when you come here to this, I want you to swoop down, okay? And I'm showing you how easy it is. This is me in a car while my daughter is doing her thing and I get an extra mm, half hour to myself or so. And I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this is because this is not how I wanna spend my whole half hour. <laughs> no offense. Oh, the other thing I do is um, I'm gonna actually post later an eyeshadow look. I do take one or two things. I can either take um, my highlighter, one of my highlighters, and I like to put this here and prime my eyeshadow, or I've done priming my eyeshadow with my vanilla dusting powder, okay? Just prime my, prime my eyeshadow. How silly am I? Prime my um, eyes for eyeshadow, because I'm gonna do that later. I do not have it on me. It will be a separate video, so you're gonna have to keep coming back and watching my videos. Now, I'm gonna do all in here. I'm gonna leave actually my contour and my blush last, but I want us to really rewrite the script. We say out loud and what we think in our heads. And it's gonna take a while and it's gonna be very conscious, but I wanna start thinking about what do you love and what do you wanna accentuate? Do you love your nose? Do you love your chin? Do you love your skin? Do you love, and I primed my skin, by the way. Skincare is very important. I prime my skin before I put makeup on. I use Pomifera. If you're interested, let me know. I Now I'm going to work on this. So I don't want to completely erase my contour. The whole purpose is to create that shadow, okay? And I'm just going to lightly blend everything in, okay? Just lightly blend it together. I didn't clean my brush. The pink is not going to, look, I'm going to then work over here and that sandstone is not going to get all over. Don't ask me how it works. It works. I'm not sure how. Okay, so... And if you feel like you want to add, because maybe I overdid it, I do this all the time. It's cream-based makeup, so if I just sort of want to come back and add a little more contour, I can. See that? I'll just add a little more. You can. Okay, there's no mistakes. We're gonna accentuate. I'm talking, but normally this takes a lot shorter of time. I'm also needing readers with the little old lady string. Um, I like to hang it. It's my car talking to me. I'm gonna finish off with one of my favorites. This is sandstone. I used it on my cheek. It's a fabulous lip color. It is a matte finish. So if you like a more glossy finish, what I do to make all my matte lip colors glossy is I get the lip conditioner and um, I'm just gonna take a look to make sure everything's blended. I take the lip conditioner and I put it on top, right? and it makes everything glossy. So now I would now go and do my eyeshadow that I don't have on me and it's another video. Um, and I use the eyeshadows as eyeliner. But look at this, super easy. Literally could have done everything in my buff brush and my one palette, this is it. I'm sitting in my car. I use this one because I happen to, and the multitasker brush, you could have used your uh, finger to put on 
the sandstone. I like a little bit more color and I like to, the feel of it. So I like the brush, but this is it. And let me tell you something. We have a brush holder that you can put the brushes in the compact on top and all tie it in and it's one fold. Me, I just threw it in my car. It didn't matter to me, but it's super easy. So if I helped you in any way, please hit that like and subscribe button to my YouTube channel and I will have links to Instagram and Facebook. If you're watching me on my Facebook page, head over to my YouTube channel and make sure you uh, hit like and subscribe and um, I will have a lot more videos coming. Thanks so much for watching.